Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, the first of December uh, 2018, I am in Baghdad, the capital of humanity, the capital of civilization, and the capital of history, renaissance, and science, technology, and knowledge. This, this, this is what Baghdad, and we are standing here at the river bank of Tigray River. This is the Tigray River, one of the three heavenly river that be mentioned, Tigray, Euphrates, and uh, uh, River Nile. On the banks of this river, our great-grandfathers, our great-grandfathers have established great civilization and renaissance. How? This river and Euphrates and Nile are the stability and the sustainability of any society and any nation to be able to build civilization through the industry based on the product of such source of life in our country. Agriculture, economy, local economy, agric agriculture industry, milk industry, and so on. And through this, the Persian managed to build great civilization, no doubt. The Arabs managed to continue the civilization on the river banks, no doubt. The Ottoman in Turkey managed to build a huge civilization and Khilafa, no doubt. The Egyptian in Egypt, in, 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 uh, uh, on the river bank, uh, on the Nile, uh, on the Nile, built a huge and great civilization which astonished humanity, no doubt. There was no petrol, there was no oil, there was no gas at that time to deceive them. It was water, land. It was agriculture, economy based on the agriculture, and manual work, which led those nations to establish the greatest civilization on earth, no doubt, up till now. No doubt, up till now. Why we are young men and young women? Are, are neglecting these rivers. Like you can see here nowadays, it is not even very well looked after by us. Why we are neglecting the agricultural industry in our country? Why we are neglecting <coughs> the milk industry in our country, the cheese industry in our country, the food industry in our country, the clothes industry in our country? Why? Why we are trying to depend only on importing, importing, importing cheap goods from China and different countries to destroy our local economy. Economy is based on this water running in our country. Don't be deceived by the cheap imported goods and say my local product is expensive. No, your local product never was expensive. Because if we keep developing our local product, it will become the best of the product and we can export it internationally to other countries. And this is what was happening to the Egyptian in the 40s when they used to call the cotton the white gold. Tell somebody destroy the cotton uh, industry in Egypt and the cotton agriculture uh, area in Egypt. Don't be deceived by the price of the imported goods. Imported goods means, for me and for you young men and women, means what? Means economical imperialism or economical colonialism. Because we cannot control what's coming to our country. Food, clothes, furniture, and the others. And we'll be always depending on their industry. We'll be always developing their industries. We'll be all being promoting their industry, not our industry. And one day, this river will become dry because we don't need it. And Allah will be extremely upset with all of us. Why? Because we neglect a heavenly given gift by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to use it to build our economy at this time and at this moment. My appeal to you, young men and young women, is utilize 
this source of life, not only source of living, this source of life, not source of living, which has been given to us in Iraq, in Turkey, in Egypt, actually, to build our life around it, to maintain and sustain our life around it. Petrol was not there at the time of Persian civilization. Petrol <coughs> was not there at the time of the ancient Egyptian civilization. Gas was not there at the time of the Ottoman Empire, actually, when they managed to rule most of the world for eight uh, centuries. was not there, but it was Tigray River, it was Yefrut, it was River Nile as well. Don't ever become depending on imported goods, on foreign economy on cheap prices of goods coming to you make your product produce your product and maintain your product to export your product and to make your product is the best product globally young men and women don't be deceived by the gas industry we need it don't be deceived by the oil industry we need it but we have to make our industry based on our local product here on the banks of the river Tigray and the river Euphrit and the river Nile. Whoever tell us, please forget your local product, forget your local industry, forget even your local manual skilled workers. Those people are not loyal to our country. Those people are not loyal to our history. Those new people are not loyal to our civilization because our civilization has been based hundreds and thousands of years ago on this industry. And this industry, the local industry, the agriculture, the milk industry, and the clothes industry, and the infrastructure, industry, even, even the industry of knowledge. And we can see in Iraq, was the capital of humanity, of knowledge, till the barbaric uh, Mongol and Tatar came and in this river, and in this river, they throw all the books of knowledge into this same river to destroy knowledge which had been created by great scholars on this land for hundreds and hundreds of years. The same happened in Andalusia when the extremist terrorist Christian burned all the Arabic books <coughs> in their country because they hate Islam and they hate Arab. Nowadays, we come back here to say, young men and young women, if you want to be independent, if you want to build a strong country, this is what Allah has given us as a gift. Don't ever ignore the agricultural industry. Don't ever shrink the agriculture, the size of the, of the agricultural land. Don't ever say that the imported good is cheaper to the local product that I am producing. It's all with the local product will be cheaper because long term we can export our local product. Don't be deceived. Stand up to build our economy. Stand up to build our country. Stand up to build our future. Stand up to build a new civilization to, be, to, be the, to, to, to show the continuity of civilization lived on the banks of these rivers for thousands and thousands of years. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived by the colonial, the colonial, the colonial economy who control the economy of your country through import. If you want to build a strong economy, it should be through export. It should be through development of our local product. It should be through strengthening our economy with agriculture, Huh? industry and other industries based on the uh, based on the uh, what Allah SWT gave us I'm not saying not to, to ignore the oil and the gas, no but this is the, the foundation this is the foundation, it has been it is now and it will be forever inshallah Jazakumullah khair people who understand my message, may Allah bless you inshallah and I'll see you in another country, inshallah.